Question number two. Which of the following is a Chinese greeting? Is it A, Konnichiwa, B, Ni Hao, C, Onyaseyo, or D, Sawadika? It's the first one. Yeah, I think it's the first one. Konnichiwa. Final answer? What is both? Huh? Is it A, a sex position? B, a country in Asia? C, a rapper? Or D, a name of a drink? Knowing that y'all are young, I'm thinking it's probably the sex position. It's a drink, it's a drink. Final answer? Konnichiwa minasan. Kyo das. So in today's video, we're gonna be reacting to giving money to the people in the most racist town in America if they answer this question. Excited to watch this video, but before that guys, just make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Today we're in Harrison, Arkansas, known as the racist town in America. And we're gonna see if the locals here know anything about Asian culture. And if they do, I'll give them $100 cash. Let's go. So we're wondering if you, if you guys wanna... Yeah. So for those of you wondering, what the hell are we doing here? Last week we came here right. to see if we would experience racism as Asians. And we didn't. But that got us wondering, do these people know anything about Asian culture? Well today, we're gonna find out. So how this is gonna work is that I'm gonna ask five questions. And if you guys can answer all five of them correctly, then I'll give you that $100 cash. What do you guys know about Asian culture? Too much. Not too much? <laughs> not much. Not much? No. I assume not many Asians live there. Not too much? No. Uh, a little bit. It depends on what country. China speaks so many different languages. Cantonese, Mandarin. Uh, uh, what's, there's one that begins with an F that I can never remember the name of. We, we didn't yes. Know. Well, then you got Japan. They still have an emperor. Korea. Divided into two. Vietnam. Great. But food's too spicy for me. Then you've got, you know, your Central Asian, your Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan. Nothing. Nothing? Absolutely nothing? <laughs> God, that makes it so bad. I know that. They... They like their martial arts, and they do a lot of exercising and stuff. Yeah. I, and I know you guys do a lot of martial art movies. So that's Question a stereotype. Number one, what is both? Huh? Is it A, a sex position? B, a country in Asia? C, a rapper? Or D, a name of a drink? D. D. Pick D. It's a drink. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go to country in Asia. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Unfortunately, it was a type of drink. Mm. You were so close. Question number two. Which of the following is a Chinese greeting? Is it A, Konnichiwa, B, Ni Hao, C, Onyaseyo, or D, Sawadika? It's the first one. Yeah, I think it's the first one. Final answer? Yeah. Unfortunately, that is not the right answer. You agree somebody in Chinese is actually Ni Hao. Ni Hao. Ni Hao. Ni Hao. So it's B. Konnichiwa is Japanese. Uh, I watch a lot of Chinese movies and I think it's Ni Hao. I'll say B. B? Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. Like you're saying hi to somebody? Yeah, saying hi to somebody. I know Kyle <laughs> That was a popular yeah, children's TV that show. That is correct. Ni Hao Kai yeah, It's kids, Chinese. Question number three. Mandarin. Which of the following is not a K-pop? Okay, I might not know a, this. A, 
BTS, B, that is one. Canto Mando, C, Black Pink, D, GOT7, Korean pop group. It's either D or B. D or B. Sure, B, I don't care. Okay. You guys are kissing your way into $100 yeah, because B. you B. got B. that correct. Okay. Go with B again. B, Canto Mando? Unfortunately, that is incorrect. <laughs> BTS is a K-pop group. The correct one is Canto Mando, which happens to be our YouTube channel. Yeah, so what are you waiting for? Subscribe, please. Question number four. Marvel just introduced a new Asian superhero. What is his name? A. Shang-Chi. B. Rice Man. C. Brock Choi. Or D. Eat Hay. That sucks because I don't follow Marvel. I'll go with A. A. It has to be A because the others sound racist. I no. watch Marvel too. I don't know. 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 Yes. Shang-Chi. What do you think? A or so it's Shang-Chi. Are you sure? Okay, A. That, unfortunately, that is correct. We are one question away from winning $100 cash. Okay, question number five. In the Chinese Zodiac, there are 12 animals. Yeah. Which of the following does not belong? Okay, Easy. A, dragon. Nope. B, pig. Nope. C, panda. Panda. Or D, rat. The panda doesn't belong. It's hard. Uh, I'm kind of crossed between pig and panda. Um, oh, oh. Panda. Rats it's on there, panda. panda dragon's on there. Yeah, there's no panda. There's no panda. There's no panda. Have you, been to, have you been to Grand Fortuna? You two have been on their thing. Because I'm a rabbit. You know your zodiac sign. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to say screw it and go with Panda. You got it. Panda, final answer. Okay, there's no Panda. That's the final answer? You guys just won a hundred dollars cash. That is correct. You got all five questions right. For culture, we're gonna give you the hundred dollars in a red pocket. So basically, a red pocket is what we do on Chinese New Year. Okay. And we give money in a red pocket, so we're gonna give it to you guys in a red pocket. That's cool. Yeah. That was a pretty cool video, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's pretty obvious that not much Asians live in this town in the US, but still I'm surprised that a fair amount of people knew a good amount about Asian culture and Asian countries. And if it was me, I definitely would have passed this test. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So if you guys liked the video, please smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, also hit that bell as well to get notified whenever we post a video. Hanto, arigatou gozaimasu, mina, kiyotsukite. じゃあね。